What's good YouTube, SRT Dave back with another banger. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We almost had 1K subscribers, so you already know the channel about to go crazy. It's like 56 degrees out today, about to be January. And by the time y'all see this, it'll already be the new year. So happy new year, everybody. 2023, about to be crazy. 2023 is our year, it's my year, it's all y'all year. So make sure you guys stay focused on your goals and you know, just keep pushing. Today I figured I'll give you guys a video because it's so nice out. I got a couple things to do. Probably gonna wash the car, take some pictures. I'm trying to get some new pictures for my channel. So hopefully my brother can take those for me, but we're about to head over to the car wash. Hopefully it's not too packed. Car has been so dirty lately, as y'all know, it always is, but we had a snowstorm not that long ago and I haven't even washed it since. So we better go wash the car and I'm gonna just talk to y'all and tell y'all the topic of this video, which is, is it worth it to buy a 2008 to 2014 Challenger in 2023? Sorry, it's, it's kids playing in the back. Let's get into this video after this little start and then we're gonna be on our way. Here's my car if y'all didn't know. It's a 2009 Dodge Challenger SRT8. Let me just show y'all how dirty this thing is, yo. Oh my God. Look at this. That's terrible. <laughs> That's terrible. You see that? That's terrible. Let me give y'all this little start up. Oh my, I can't even stop looking at this thing. All right, come on. guys so we are on the road on the way to the car wash it's crazy that i can have my windows down in january it is insane yo i don't even got a jacket on so let's get into the topic of this video which is is buying a 2008 to 2014 challenger charger whatever worth it in 2023 I'm just gonna flat out get my overall answer and I'm gonna say yes. There's so much that I could talk about within this topic. I could literally make a video that's like an hour long. So I'm gonna try and talk a little bit about each of the couple bullet points that I wanna incorporate into this video. And hopefully that'll give y'all enough sense to make this purchase if you've been thinking about it or if you just really wanna hear my opinion on it, then there's that as well. First, I'm gonna talk about price. As you guys know, the market for any Hemi has been drastically increasing because they, they're they gonna stop making them. Oh, dang. The market has been increasing because they're gonna stop making them. So with that being said, every price on them has just skyrocketed. If you do come across one of these older model cars, you could definitely snag one for a lot cheaper than a new Scat Pack or a new Hellcat, obviously. But you could probably find these cars for under 20K. That just might be from what I'm seeing in my area. You might be able to grab one of these right now for under 20k depending on the mileage i always try to buy my cars under 50k this one had 32,000 on it when i bought it you don't know how someone drove the car if it's got a lot of miles this that and the third but i always try to buy my cars with as low miles possible the lower the miles it's also going to increase the price overall these cars are a lot cheaper than the newer model scat packs and all that so let's get into the second thing so the second thing that i'm going to say is the rarity you don't really see these older model challengers or chargers like around and if you do see a charger it's most likely a six cylinder you don't ever see no older model challengers around and that's the main reason why i really like this car because it's rare i'm the type of person where i want different stuff i don't like what everybody else has and likes so with my cars i want that to be different as well in buying this car, I never see nobody with a car that looks exactly like mine. And that's really what I what I enjoy. No one around you is most likely gonna have the same car as you. Another thing, gas mileage is not that bad. Literally, I got like 15 miles a gallon. I recommend grabbing one. It's fun, it's really a fun car to drive every day. Especially if it's your daily driver like mine is. I hope you guys can hear me with the windows down. It's just too nice to have them up. We're minutes away from the car wash right now. I'm gonna pick back up the camera when I get into the wash bay. Not again. This is the same thing that happened in the last video. I got the worst luck when it comes to coming to this car wash, yo. It's like six people ahead of me, but 
This thing really needs to be clean. So I guess I'm gonna have to wait. Speaking of never seeing older model challengers, there's one that just pulled up behind me. Here he is. <laughs> I don't know where he about to go because this line is long. That's crazy. I was really just talking about that and then one pulls in. Also on the way here, I saw a Hummer EV. Them things go for like a hundred grand. That's crazy. I ain't seen that car nowhere else but Warzone. In terms of maintenance on these older model cars, it's really no different than having a newer model car. You know, of course you're gonna have the things here and there that break just because they're getting old, but they're easily replaceable, like little pieces of trim and stuff like that. And overall maintenance costs, I haven't even done anything to this car besides oil changes. And that's really it. I only had to do oil changes and I've owned this car for like a year and a half now. So maintenance is not bad at all. So if you're worried about stuff breaking and you think, oh, it's too old, it's just gonna, it's just gonna start breaking when I get it. It's not. These Hemis were built so reliable. Ask anybody that has a 6.1 from 2009, even 2008, 2010, 2011, they all gonna tell you the same thing, that these cars are reliable. As long as you don't get one that was beat on. Now, if you get some beater that was salvage title or whatever, that's a whole nother story. I'm talking about strictly cars that were well kept, maybe a one, two owner car, like mine was one owner before me. It was actually a lady that had the car and she bought a Mustang off the showroom floor and then traded this in for it. She really kept this car nice. Shout out to her if she's ever watching this video or ever sees this video. I got your car now and I'm about to go crazy with it. It's like, nah. Boy, if you don't. But yeah, guys, we're still waiting in this car wash line. I've been talking a lot. I don't really know what else there is to say about this car other than just get it, especially if it's your first car. Like you don't want to go straight from an economy car to a Hellcat, unless you got it like that by any means do it. I had to go a little step, a little step up from my Kia Optima into this SRT8 Challenger. You know what I'm saying? These cars are sick. These cars are really sick. For the price point, the amount of power you get, the looks, everything. It really is worth it to me, in my opinion. I usually do wash in one of those bays. I just don't feel like doing it right now, I'm being lazy. So we better just go through one of these touchless washes, see how that turns out. It's about to rain tomorrow, so I don't even know why I'm washing my car. Gotta do what you gotta do. I need to have a nice car today, at least for a Friday. While I'm waiting, I gotta get my rim cleaner. I'm about to put y'all on. This stuff is that good stuff. I think you can get it from Walmart, but for real, it really gets you right. Look, I'm about to show y'all. Just spray it, spray it on there. Cover that thing up. And you're gonna be good. Why is it that whenever there's someone out in public with a camera, everybody always stare at them? All these cars around me, everybody was staring at me when I was just out there spraying my tires. Like, what you ain't never seen nobody with a camera before? Yeah, I got a camera. Yeah, I'm making content. And yeah, my Instagram's on my car, so go follow it. Boy, if you don't get- That's a lot better. I still gotta dry it off, but that is a lot better. All right, the car is dried off for the most part. Now I'm about to take some pics of the car. You know, we posted up at the best spot right behind AutoZone. I figured I'll finish this video off by showing y'all, you know, the car while I talk about it again. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love, man. They came real close to the old body style, man. I know. Real close, and that's... What I do for 71 Cuda, man, these are nice stuff. Thank you, thank you. The car wash was so packed. Oh, I seen the line I, down. I there. know, and I just had to run it through real quick. Just, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I had all the, the salt all over oh, it. I used to have a black pickup truck. You could clean it and a minute later it looks dirty. I know, yeah, but. Did you go to this one up here? I went to that one. How's this run against the Mustangs? uh stock for stock against the older ones like my year this is 2009 right. so against those year mustangs it's good yeah. but the newer ones 10 speeds nah 
the 10 speed and they're way lighter than than the uh, challenger so yeah you're not gonna put that exhaust on this are you what nah i can't stand it yeah. you don't realize how loud it is it happened to, the dude was right next to me and did it once I'm scared the shit out of me i know the one kid i was waiting on the, uh, up front here and I said, you're not the kid with the BMW, are you? And he made a big smile. He said, yeah. I said, I can't stand you, man. <laughs> yeah, nah. Mine sounds good, but it's not too overwhelming like that. Yeah, the Hellcats sound wicked when they get on it, man. Because we sit here and watch them go out of here all day. Yeah. Woo, they sound wicked, man. I know. With that wine? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice, man. Cool. Thank that's you. Nice car. Thanks, man. Yeah. Nice to see them still around. Yeah, right? Yep. Have a good one. You too, bro. That's cool. He just came out of work. <laughs> came out, show some love. I appreciate that. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you all the car. I'm going to wrap this video up. I want to thank everybody. Matter of fact, hold up. I want to thank everybody, all my subscribers, for showing me love. We almost at 1K. Not yet, but we almost at 1K. I want to thank all y'all for supporting me. It really means a lot. I love making this content for y'all, and it keeps me going the fact that y'all are watching it but you know i got more bangers coming go watch them old videos if you haven't because they all fire you know we got the best car content on youtube you know what i'm saying and we're gonna keep going up 2023 is our year like i said earlier so i just wanted to give you guys this video and give you my thoughts on if i were to redo it would i buy one of these cars right now yes i would let me just show y'all one thing who wouldn't want to drive one of these cars the fact that i get to do this every day drive this thing every day wake up every day this is in my driveway I'm really blessed, man. I think I did enough talking for this video. I'm gonna try and upload more consistent, like I said in my last video. I'm gonna keep bringing y'all bangers. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe on the channel. Follow my Instagram too, at SRT underscore Dave. I'm gonna throw some pics up soon on there. If you guys got any questions or anything, you know, reach out to me. I try to respond to everybody. It gets hard sometimes with all the comments, but I try to respond to everybody. If you got something to say, say it in the comments. I'll, I'll try to get back to you. Or if you want a quicker answer, try and DM me. But other than that, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Stay tuned for the next video. It's SRT Dave, and I'm out.